So uh, today, um, really, is five weeks and two days, and this is my oldest, no, my next oldest princess, Saga, who's 16. Hola! <laughs> and she is, uh, well, <laughs> she lost, she's up to a lot of uh, not so nice things sometimes, thank you. And I hope she doesn't do too much <coughs> noise in the background. And here she is, she went up, okay. <laughs> uh, well, that was my old, uh, next oldest daughter. I think it's the second video where she actually is present. That's nice. Um, but she always needs to be this clown and do all this, you know, funny things. And uh, yeah, I don't know. But she's wonderful and I love her, <laughs> of course. Uh, but uh, yeah, sometimes she's a little bit too much. But as you can see, Ro is awake. It's uh, 12 minutes past midnight and she's very awake and very happy. And she adores her older sister. Uh, first thing Saga does when she comes home from seeing her friends is um, going directly to Ro and pick her up and play with her and talk to her and everything. They are really, you know, good sister to her. And um, as you can see, it's a real mess behind me. That is what happens when you live in someone's spare room for three months, as I've done with my parents' house now. Except the time I spent in hospital. I was counting the days the other day and realized that I, the last three, uh, out of the last three months, I spent a, a whole month in hospital, um, committed in hospital, and uh, almost one month uh, visiting there in the daytimes if you add all the days together. So it's not much time I spent at home. But yeah, that's how things are. And, um, I hope I will soon have an operation. I uh, reached my doctor's secretary today. Uh, it has been quite hard, and he has, he has tried to reach me claims, but uh, failed. And I haven't heard anything, but I hope he will be able to call me tomorrow. She promised me he would call me tomorrow afternoon, so I hope he really will, and that things will work out and I get <laughs> an appointment for operation. So, and. Uh, not really sure what Ro is up to today. Uh, she has managed to uh, scratch her eye again. It's when she tried to suck her thumb and uh, she put her uh, index finger in the eye instead. And uh, yeah, happens a lot, I'm afraid. Uh, today they were in a town called Ustad, uh, which is close to a place where my parents live. And uh, I bought some clothes for Ro. As I have my heart condition, I can't really go around in the stores and um, you know, shop as I normally would. But I figure out that I could order things on the net and then pick them up in the store. And if it's something more I need or something offer I would like to see or something I want to see in person before I buy it, I could go directly and look at that thing. And it makes the visits much shorter and it makes it possible for me to actually go out a little bit more, I feel, you know, go out and shop and so on, because I feel really do need some more clothes. And right now she <laughs> thinks she tries to eat my fingers, which she didn't. I think she's getting a little bit angry, because she wanted my hand there, okay. And now she wants to, okay. Now she wants to look at me. Yeah. Hey, good man. Yeah. And where's the webcam? Can you see it? No, you just wanted to look at me, right? Yeah. It's much more fun to look at mommy. Yeah. And, um, well, uh, tomorrow I'm going home to Malma. Oh, don't cry, sweetie, don't cry. Tomorrow I'm going home to Malma. And, uh, now she bites me. Okay. <laughs> Okay, maybe she, I think she wants to, some food. But anyway, I'm going to Malmö, and um, on the way home, my father has promised to drive me to Ikea, so my oldest daughter will buy me some things there, because that's way too big for me to walk around in and so on. But yeah, let's see what, how Ru likes that. She likes Ikea. Hopefully not, because it will be expensive when she gets older. <laughs> okay. Shall we stop talking? You think so? You look here? No, you don't want to. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye and thanks for watching.